What's going on guys, Bengal again here, coming back at you with another Madden NFL 22 video. This is a tutorial of sorts, one that I do every year. There are a lot of new people on the game every year, always looking for new ways to improve and learn about the game. And even though I'm not exactly a gameplay expert, I am pretty good in the back end with the team building, drafting, trading, and signing sort of thing. So. I'm gonna tell you guys today how to trade for any player 100% of the time. Now, there, there are a couple ways. The first way, or one way, I'm not sure the order I'll do them, is actually just understanding how the trade system works and utilizing different players. And you can always sign guys. Like, if there's a player in free agency that might have a lot of value, and in this case, there definitely are Mitchell Schwartz, superstar, tackle, unsigned, Chiefs cut him, injury concerns, and that sort of thing and they needed to make some space on their roster, they cut Mitchell Schwartz. Now, we can use him and we can trade him, and he has quite a lot of value. So, also, you can see the team needs, right? And if you click, you can get five. You see it on the right side there. So the Bears need a center, quarterback, left tackle, right tackle, strong safety. So those positions will have an increased value in the trade system. The Bears need a right tackle. They will have green interest in Mitchell Schwartz. Now, some players, as you can see, like Xavier and Howard, will have green interest for almost every team, if not every team, despite not being a team need. Some players are just good enough to where they're always going to have value. And you really have to understand that quarterbacks and especially young quarterbacks with good development traits have a lot of value in the trade system, but more specifically, quarterbacks in general have a ton of value in the trade system, and you can use that to your advantage. So if you want to take a player like J.J. Watt, he's 32 years old, will have less value in the trade system because of his age, but he does have superstar X factor, still a really good overall, still very, very valuable. But you can use quarterbacks, and not that Jacoby Brissett's the best example because he's, you know, bad, but even Tua Tungavailoa, you can use these in trades to get extra value. Quarterbacks have a lot of value, and those team needs have a lot of extra value as well. Picks also have a lot of value. They are easier to trade for, and they have more value when you trade them away. So if you want players, using picks to trade for those players is always a very, very big tip. As you can see here, this trade nearly is completed for JJ Watt with Tua and a first round pick. And it would probably be still fairly close if we use Jacoby Brissett. So the first thing is quarterbacks have a ton of value. As you can see, Jacoby Brissett and that first round pick, you know, almost make the trade happen. Now a second round pick, not nearly as much value as you see. The first round picks have a ton of value. They're usually not too hard to get. I'll show you guys a quick example. Jacoby Brissett for a first round pick. Jacoby Brissett, a second round pick this year and next year gets us a first round pick. So not really particularly hard to trade for. So understanding the trade system is a really, really easy way to get anybody and you don't really have to give up a lot. But here is the, okay, I absolutely want to get this player. And this way is extremely cheesy. I think it ruins the fun, but some of you might be clicking on the video just because you don't want to know how the trade system works. You just really, really want a player. You've tried everything. You can't get him. Let's look at Patrick Mahomes, for example. He's always a really good one because he's a super high overall at the highest valued position. He's super, super young, and he has the best development trait in the game at Superstar X Factor. A number of other players have it too, but Patrick Mahomes is the toughest player to trade for, and you could try trading anything. Two first round picks, and then they need a right tackle as their number one need, even though they cut Mitchell Schwartz in real life, they still value him a lot in the game. There are two left tackles. There's no right tackle popping up. Okay, that's not good. Right tackle is just not a position they're gonna recognize. So the, Mitchell Schwartz has green value to them. I know in real life they cut him, but the game logic doesn't know that. So you could trade their highest needed position and maybe the highest overall right tackle in the league with superstar development add in two first round picks, like pretty much all that you can trade to get them. And you're still going to be nowhere close. And you're like, man, I really, really just want to start a franchise with Patrick Mahomes. I'll do anything. This is how you do it. And you can trade for any player this way. Again, it's really cheesy and it is editing something in the game. But what you can do in order to trade for any player, no matter what, no questions asked, is you go in to manage roster, NFL rosters, 
you go to the player that you want. So in this case, Patrick Mahomes, you go into edit player and in any franchise you can do this, you go to his position and click left stick and make him a punter. And once you make him a punter and you save those changes, Patrick Mahomes value completely disappears. He now becomes not valuable at all. Is still a superstar X Factor player. Still has all of his quarterback ratings. 97 throw power, 97 short accuracy. All of his quarterback stats. You can then trade for him. Doesn't doesn't change, doesn't change anything except for the superstar X Factor ability. You can trade a seventh round pick and boom, you can get Patrick Mahomes. And you can do that with any player as many times as you want. Let's just say you want to build an unbelievable team, super team, just because you want to play a game with them. Whatever your reason is, I don't care. You can play your franchise however you want to. If you want to exploit the game and just, just get whoever you want, you're completely fine to do that. I wouldn't play the game this way. But if you wanted to come to this video, which is advertised in the title, how to trade for anybody, this is how to do it. You can change their position to punter. They have no value. And then you can change their position back quarterback. And then Patrick Mahomes is a 99 overall quarterback. And it's not like, oh, is X factor change? Well, you can just change it back. He had bazooka. You can give him bazooka. You can change all of his abilities. It's exactly the same player that was on the Chiefs, and you can even customize him more to your liking. Now you could say, well, why wouldn't I just change anybody's ratings to make them Patrick Mahomes? That's a different, a different thing. You can edit the ratings if you want. You can do anything you want, but this is how to trade for any player in the game. No matter what, no questions asked, you can just change their position. Now you'd say, oh, that's very obvious. I, I figured there are a lot of new people to the game. This is not my usual content on the channel. I understand that, but it is a tutorial for some of you guys that are new to the game, new to franchise, want to play with your favorite player, even if you're on a different team. So that's how to do it. I know this is, oh, that's very obvious. Not everyone would think of that. I'm, like, I can promise you because every year it happens. So again, I know not my usual content, but that is how to trade for any single player in the game. Older players have more value or have less value, excuse me. If they're 30 or older, they have less value. Like Khalil Mack, I think we could get pretty easily. Like a first round pick might get us pretty close. First round pick, number 19 overall, just gets it done. So players over 30 have less value as well. Younger players are generally tougher to trade for. Let's, especially rookies. Like let's go to Devontae Smith, one of the highest overall rookies in the game. Has a good development trade as well. It's going to be tough to trade for him. Like a fourth round pick for a 75 overall receiver might work a lot of the time, but not for a first round pick with a really good development trade. First round pick does make it pretty close to happening. But again, let's say quarterback has a ton of value and those draft picks have a ton of value. You can trade for anyone that way as well. So trade for first round picks. And if you don't want it to be just this one year thing, it's easier to trade for picks in the future. So if you're in 2022, or 2021 with the 2022 draft picks trade for 2023 first round picks and that's really really not that hard to do and you can just stockpile a bunch of picks that way and use those picks to trade for players so just instantly we pretty much have khalil mack and a superstar rookie and patrick mahomes using a few different ways to trade for anybody that you want so again i know not my usual content i've said that about 10 times but if you're new to the game, wanted to know how to trade for anybody, no matter what, no questions asked, that's how you do it. Hopefully this helped you guys out. Hit that subscribe button if you're new and it did help you. And I will see you in the next one. Take it easy. Taking it back to the house, defense a joke, I'm laughing so loud, speed burst good.